Hey, welcome to another Witch Doctor's How To. Today we're going to show you about something called an Air Hawk seat pad. So for you guys that your butt kills you, mama's butt kills her on a long ride, and you just don't want to go that extra miles because the seat's not comfortable. A lot of you guys complain about um, the cross country seats and really any victory seat that it's not really comfortable for you. We have a solution. Air Hawk came out with a product. It's been out for a long time. Um, this is the Air Hawk 2. Uh, this will make your riding a million times better. They say actually that you'll double your miles that you go if you have this pad on your seat. So they're very inexpensive. Um, go on very easily. We're going to show you. They fit virtually any bike. They have kind of what they call their medium or their small. Um, this would be the one for the cross country. Um, this one obviously is for uh, the passenger or if you have a, a smaller bike, uh, you know, a Vegas or something with a little bit different seat, you can use this. So you got different, um, different sizes to go by. But what this does, it's kind of a bed of air and I'll show you in a second. I'll take it apart and show you. But it just gives you that cushion and, and it's vented so it keeps your butt from getting hot. It's that pressure on your tailbone that you all feel, you know, after you're riding, you're scooching around in the seat, you just can't get there. Mama's bitching in the back because she can't be comfortable. Well, now you'll be able to take care of all that stuff. And a lot of guys say they won't ride without it. The other thing this really helps you with is if you don't have the money and you don't want to spend the money on like an ultimate seat that we offer, the Mustang seats, a Corbin seat, you know, and they're fairly high price, very comfortable, but they're a lot of money. If you don't want to go that route, this is going to solve your problem for you. Very easy. So what these are in a kind of a little nutshell here, you have a rubber backing. Okay, so they're completely waterproof. You don't have to worry about that. Rubber backing. And what that does, it, it not only keeps it waterproof, but it keeps, keeps this from sliding. Okay, so it, it just goes on there and it kind of grips it so you don't have to scooch around like some of them. When you put them on there after you're riding, it kind of vibrates off to the side. This won't do that, and it also has straps, and I'll show you that in a second on how to um, put that on your seat. And they work the same way. The, the smaller one has the straps just the same as this. Now, the one thing you have to do, you have to take your seat off to be able to put it on. We have a video on that for cross bikes, visions. We have those videos, so it's really easy, five, five, five minutes at the most, to take your seat off and do this, so no big deal. But you can see here, it's, it has the vented outer part, okay, the rubber. The top is, is kind of a polyester, um, you know, again, waterproof, but it, it, it's, it's not really that rubbery material, so you don't have to worry about that getting your butt hot sitting on rubber. It's got a, a soft material to it. These straps here, these little loops, when you buy the Airhawk, when you buy the kit, you get um, little straps with it, and they're very easy. They're just um, like a little hook there, okay? So you just hook that in there and then you wrap it around your seat. And again, I'll show you that. But kind of the important thing with this is how do you set it up? How do you know too much air, not enough air? What's Airhawk recommend? Again, on Airhawk's website, they have all the videos on how to do it. Um, for the most part, what you do, and they have a really slick design and they're both the same, so I'll show you here. There's a zipper in the back, you wanna unzipper that. You zoom in here and we'll show you kind of what this looks like. This is an air bladder. Okay, this comes out machine washable. Okay, but this is just an air bladder and it's just got these little, almost looks like a cupcake tray. Okay, you have this little valve on here. Now, you don't have to take this out to do this, but I'm doing it to show you. This little valve right here, you just, it has a, it's almost like a tire valve, but you, it has a, uh, thing here you just turn that so you open it up okay so what you do is is before um, you go on your ride you get it you put the pressure in so you just blow it up okay so you can see it's blown up now that's all you do you don't need a compressor you don't need any fancy stuff you just blow it up so what you do is you, you get the air in it when you put it on your bike you, you leave the zipper cracked a little bit. And we'll just kind of stick this back in here. Okay. So you leave the zipper cracked a little bit and you have that little valve sticking out. So when you sit on it, it's too much and you don't want to put this, the, you know, you, this isn't the more is better kind of thing. You don't want to blow that up all the way. You'll be like bouncing on the seat, okay? It doesn't work that way. The way you're supposed to do this is you, you blow it up and then when you sit on it, you just open the valve, okay? You just open that valve a little bit, 
and as you're sitting on it, this is going to squish down, okay? And you get it just till it's just enough in there where you can still feel a cushion, but it's not that rock hard, bumpy feeling. That's where it's set in optimum. That's where you want it to be. It's the optimum setting of that. So it's just enough air, it, it, like they call it, like a pillow of air. It's just enough cushion. And it's going to determine, you know, everybody's different, heavier, different styles, all that kind of stuff. That's how you do it. If, if you went down too much, blow it back up and do it over again. Simple. Okay. So that's how that works. It's how you adjust it. Um, again, this one's the same, same way. Um, very easy. Nothing to it. That's, anybody can do that. Like I said, no special tools. You're out on the road. You don't like it. Your butt's getting sore. You need a little more air. Blow some in there. You want a little less? Take some out. No big deal. These will work on any bike. Um, you know, even Harleys, whatever. God, I say Harleys, but they'll work on any bike. Um, and like I say, different sizes. This is the most common ones for the cross countries. Works perfect on vision. You know, so the way these work, the way they go on, let me show you, is obviously you have your seat off, okay? And we'll zoom in here and I'll show you this. But these little clips, you just hook them on there, okay? Just like that, real easy. They're adjustable, just like I know you guys know how to do that, but they're adjustable here, just like a dog collar or whatever. Just adjust that. You're going to hook them in, okay? Put that on. And then you're just going to pull this over to the other side. Okay, that's all there is to that one. And again, you can we'll adjust it back here a little bit. You know, kind of get it up over the top. And, and once it's on there, you can pull it around. No big deal. So we're going to do the same thing up here. Just be careful you don't slip on this because this thing will come back and whap you right in the face. Okay, then you can just pull this around where you want it. So now it's nice and secure. You don't really see the straps. They just kind of tuck under there. You know, get it adjusted where you want. And that's how you put it on. No big deal. Takes that, takes that long. Again, you got the zipper right there. Real easy. So you can get to the valve. Okay, so that, that's all it is. But I'm telling you, this will save your butt. It'll make the ride much more enjoyable. You can go a lot farther. Hot days won't bother you anymore. Um, and again, what can I say? You put one of these on the back for mama, you're going farther, man. She's going to be happy. You're going to make her happy. So it makes a great gift. But check them out, witchdoctors.com. Give us a call, 330-856-6924, or stop into our store. Check us out. We have them in stock all the time. Thanks for watching.